Hello everyone and welcome to the latest episode of top 5 Majest modules. So guys this is the 4th episode of this series and in this series we talk about the top 5 Majest modules that you should definitely try on your device. And once again I bought 5 new modules that you should definitely try on your device. And I'm not sure about the compatibility if these modules will work on all of the devices and all of the custom rooms or stock rooms. But you can try out and tell me in comments. So now let's not waste any more time and get started. So guys in this video I'm going to use the latest Majest version 22.1 you can use any version that is supported by any of these modules as you are watching this video i suppose that you already know how to install majus modules and if you don't don't worry i'll show you so to install any majus module first you need to have the zip file of that module if you are using a third party module or you can use the modules available in the majus downloads so uh, the puzzle icon as you can see here on the floating bar is the modules tab there are a bunch of modules that you can try out from the majus application but if you want to install a third party module then you have to click on this button which says install from storage so here i'm installing the very first module from our list which is dolby atmos from oneplus so you have already seen the dolby atmos in the previous episodes but this one is different this one is directly taken from oneplus devices if you have a oneplus device or if you have ever used a oneplus custom os on your device then you might have seen these uh, dolby atmos features in your sound settings but uh, that doesn't work in most of the devices but here is the port version of my disk so guys actually there is a flaw in this one that this doesn't work with bluetooth devices so first you have to disable the bluetooth option or you have to disable the bluetooth toggle from your device and then it will work fine otherwise it will crash so as you can see this time it is not crashing and yes guys there is one more issue with this one which causes brightness to reduce at the very low point of your device as you can see my brightness is actually at 100% but I cannot see anything clearly and this issue could be device specific as well that means the module is not working fine for me it is having some brightness issues but it is possible that it will work fine for your device so you have to try yourself and apart from these issues the module is pretty awesome and there are three different type of presets just as music gaming and other is movie and you can actually customize the equalizer as well now let's move to the next module the module number two which is known as auto performance for this one the installer requires you to press the volume keys to begin the installation process so you have to use your volume keys and press as per the requirements and then it will install and you have to reboot now once you reboot your device just go to the magisk application and check if the module is installed successfully or not so just open magisk application and go to the modules tab and as you can see auto performance is installed and to find out what actually the auto performance modules do you just have to read the description it actually enables the performance mode for your device when you play any game or when you use the application such as camera and other things which is heavy ram consuming the performance mode will enable automatically once you launch any game or application which is heavy ram consuming and as the name says auto performance it is automatically enabled and to check if it is enabled or not you can read the logs here in your internal storage this file will be created automatically you can open it in any text editor and as you can see the logs that the performance mode is working automatically so you just have to launch the game and performance will boost automatically you have to do nothing but play your game okay so now let's talk about module number three so this module is actually the most useful module for those who want to record their call and for that there is no need to install any third party application to record your calls you just need your google dialer basically most of the stock oem support call recording by default in such as realme phones and xiaomi phones but actually we are talking about custom rooms so there are two type of custom rooms which include google apps and which does not include google apps so which include google apps you have a google dialer but there is no call recording option available in that google dialer application but this is for the ones who are using google apps build and still they don't have call recording options enabled in their google dialer so what you have to do just uninstall any update of google dialer and flash this magic module now just open the google dialer and call your ex and then when she asks why did you call her just answer that you wanted to test this google recorder and guys uh, as you can see the recording options are available now you just have to swipe and you can access the recorder actually it can be on your first page as well if you don't have the video calling option but as i have that option the recorder is on the next tab so you just have to swipe and you can actually record calls like that now to access those recordings you don't have to go to your file manager because you are not gonna find them there your recordings are still here in your recent call logs just click on that option and as you can see the recording is here and you can play or share right from here talking about the module number four which is my favorite as well oxygen with launcher mode now let me install and show you why this is my favorite one it will replace all of your system launcher with this oxygen OS launcher or oneplus launcher after installation simply reboot your device as always so my phone is going to boot okay now it's booted 
let me just clear up this lock screen and just wait a little bit and voila oneplus launcher is here this is the updated version of oxygen os launcher as you can see the google search bar is in the middle of the screen and here i got a notification to set up the launcher you got two options either used as the home screen mode or the app drawer mode now basically oneplus launcher is the best and lightweight launcher which can perform all of the tasks which a normal launcher can do such as a custom icon pack and actually this is having a more feature than the actual oneplus launcher because this one is a mode you can use gestures like pinch in on home screen to open the settings widgets and wallpaper options and pinch out to open the hidden application space as you can see here you can add all of the application and protect them with the password you will also get the oneplus recent app provider with this launcher which is pretty awesome i guess you just have to swipe up on the you know navigation bar and here you have the recent application tray from here you can long hold on any application and just log that application you can access the app information you can open multi window or split screen or you can open the free form windows you can pin that application you can force stop that application you also got a clear all button at the bottom which will clear all the applications and that's not the only thing there guys there is something else which is called oneplus advanced setting this application will be installed automatically when you install this module and this will enable extra features in your oneplus launcher such as memory bar or memory information so let us enable that now have a look at the recent application drawer you have used ram and available ram which is memory actually and uh, you know you can just change the position of available and used text you just have to go to the settings again and just enable the customization here and change the position of the text you can put them at the top right bottom left bottom right or top left wherever you want to put anything and you know you can also overlap that i have tried that there are some more options available in advanced launcher settings such as rounded corner of the recent application drawer you can actually customize the roundness of this ui also guys before talking about the fifth and last module of our video let me show you something exciting so guys this is coin switch on this platform you can actually invest in multiple cryptocurrencies including bitcoin ethereum doggy coin i have also invested in doggy coin and bitcoin as both of them are hiking so guys i'm inviting you to join coin switch to invest in cryptocurrencies and the first three people who join through the link given in the description will get 50 rupees worth of bitcoin each just remember 50 rupees today 500 next week 5000 next year in just one day i have 12.32 percent of profit so just join through the link in the description you will get 50 rupees each worth of bitcoin okay guys so let's talk about the fifth and the final module of this episode so guys i'm sure that you're gonna like this module as much as i liked it so guys this is the superheroes boot animation including dc and marvel characters such as uh, just have a look at it i live inside my own world of make believe kids screaming in the cradles profanities Okay guys, so I'm damn sure that you like the boot animation. So why not install that? I have given the link in description for the zip file which contains all of the other zip files. So just extract that zip and you will get 5 flashable modules. So link is in description, go flash that modules and if you like this video please press a thumbs up and if you didn't like this video you can press the thumbs down button also and you can tell me in description, sorry uh, you can tell me in comments that what I am missing and what should I improve in my videos and please guys follow me on instagram as viral banda on telegram follow our channels and you know groups uh, just join the groups you will uh, get enough help there and now it's a goodbye let's meet in the next video.